Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm in Taipei right now and it's actually my first time. But what's got me even more excited is that I'm here with the Pandi X team and I'm here speaking to Peko Wang. Peko, nice to meet you. Nice this to meet you. Welcome uh, to Taipei. Yeah, thank you very much. And it's uh, the first time I meet you in person because we have been talking on Telegram and WhatsApp back and forth and you told me so much about your project and I'm really excited to, you know, ask you more details about it and perhaps I could ask you some harsh questions. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Perhaps we could start with some regular one to kickstart the, the, the flow. Mm -hmm. So could you tell our audience a little bit more about PumDX? Like, what do you guys do? And maybe explain to me like I'm a five-year-old. Sure. Um, so PumDX is the project that would make cryptocurrency as easy as possible in your daily life. So we used to have a slogan that uh, you can buy and sell cryptocurrency as easy as buying a bottle of water. How do you guys achieve that? Because it sounds like it's a little bit too good to be true. It's very right. magical. Yes, of course. So um, we, we kind of like a, a crypto OG in the industry, yeah. uh, in, in this uh, crypto term. And uh, we started this project about uh, five to six years ago. And uh, as, you, as you can see, it's five years. This is our oh, five great. year anniversary. Oh, and it's uh, actually designed by our community. The goal is to make cryptocurrency, using cryptocurrency in your daily life. So uh, we developed this uh, product, which is the world first um, crypto only point of sales device. Mm. And that allows you to either pay with cryptocurrency as well as buy cryptocurrency from here. Oh great, so is it like if I go to a coffee store and then the, the merchant will give me this device and I could just tap my phone and yes. pay with my Apple Pay? Yes. Or something like uh, that? It's not Apple Pay, but yeah. you can pay with your trust wallet, you can pay with your Metamask wallet, you can pay your Bitcoin Lightning wallet. So all kinds of blockchain wallet that you can pay with it. So it's, it's like a, um, it's, it's not a fiat. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we don't accept fiat currency in these uh, machines, but as long as you pay crypto and you will pay with your own wallet, then we accept it. Yeah, oh, that's great. It's even better than Apple Pay, I would say. But what is like the, the adoption going on? So right. how many, like, do you have the exact numbers? Like how many merchants are already using exports and what, like, what sort of benefits they could gain from using this device? Yes, uh, basically we, uh, five years ago, we come up with this uh, point of sales device and we were hoping people will pay uh, with this machine, right? But five years ago, not many people own cryptocurrency. Yeah, of course. So uh, we have some uh, interesting distributor. They actually turn our uh, point of sale device into like a, a crypto, physical crypto exchange office. So it's like the uh, store that you see in the airport, like foreign exchange a store, and then they, they have a crypto exchange store in, in some of the country like Turkey. So uh, in Turkey, we have over uh, 14 stores right now and it's still increasing. Mm -hmm. And they are actually using this POS device not only to uh, get, uh, sell their cryptocurrency into fiat, but mm -hmm. they also purchase cryptocurrency through this machine. That directly through the device? Yeah, rightly, uh, directly through the device. Oh, so wow. You, so uh, there are a lot of people, they are first time uh, cryptocurrency user, mm -hmm. and some of them may prefer a face-to-face -face interaction. So with mm -hmm. using this device with the store, the staff in the store that will explain how it use, and uh, how what the cryptocurrency is, how you can store your cryptocurrency, then um, then you will be feel more confident yeah. and to to own crypto, right? So this some of the in some of the country we have mm. uh, this type of models, and also in South Africa we recently have activated some merchants there. There are mm. like um, luxury watch, and yeah. there are clubs, and there are a gold exchange store. Yeah. So I think they are um, pretty much the high ticket 
high value ticket mm. items that would use would like to pay with cryptocurrency. Well, I can clearly see that some countries are adopting crypto more faster than yeah. uh, other countries. Mm -hmm. Perhaps like, but what is like the situation in Taiwan? Because right. what you mentioned is that. Uh, for example, in Turkey, I know that the inflation rate is is ridiculous. That that yes. lira currency basically is just like it's just like paper towel. People use it to to you know wipe their hands. But what is, what is the situation like in in Asia, in Singapore, in Taiwan, etc.? Mm -hmm. I think you can uh, for the cryptocurrency adoption, you can uh, actually see uh, the local currency how the local currency perform mm -hmm. uh, in 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 those countries. For example, like Taiwan, they have relatively stable Taiwanese dollar. Yeah. So people doesn't really have the you know, needs to, yeah. I need to own the cryptocurrency mm -hmm. to store, uh, store the value of my assets. Yeah. Instead, they use cryptocurrency maybe for trading, investment purpose. So the, the customer side will be more towards to the investment side mm. and as well as you you can see other countries like uh, maybe in US in Canada they are more towards that uh, that that kind of adoption but if you look at the uh, fluctuation that the country who has a relatively higher fluctuation in terms of the currency mm. uh, like Indonesia like uh, Vietnam they have relatively higher uh, Adoption in mm. in terms of cryptocurrency, they are not necessarily using this uh, these machines, but uh, they are more. They get, for example, like Indonesia, they they trade cryptocurrency as a uh, commodity. Mm -hmm. So you will see a lot uh, the cryptocurrency owner they get their cryptocurrency from the exchange. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they actually ban crypto payment. So uh, we don't have uh, the the prisons there, but uh, hopefully in the future the law can change can be mm -hmm. changed then we'll be able to uh, tap into that market. Uh, obviously, you guys are helping a lot more to those hyperinflation countries. But what about those uh, more advanced countries? Like, obviously, there are a lot of hurdles. Like, I'm sure you guys have come across so much challenges. Like, uh, do you guys have any strategy to overcome them? Then? Right. Um, so for the uh, uh, some country, they are introducing the regulatory um, framework, um, mm. usually we work with the local distributor. So the distributor uh, make the uh, registration with the local government to make sure that they are able to uh, do the crypto business uh, mm. in their own countries. And then uh, once they get the license, we will be able to operate there. So our, one, our strategy is that um, we work with the local distributor uh, so that uh, we will be able to have to be compliant with mm -hmm. the uh, local regulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, another question I would like to ask a little bit more is that obviously you guys are working very closely with uh, Function X because I, I believe mm. you guys are built on Function X. You yes. like the blockchain. Yes. And Function X is more, uh, I would say, cater to DeFi. Yes. So how do you see Pondi X like comes into play like in, yeah. in the DeFi world? Then? Uh -huh. Very good question. Uh, Function X is the uh, blockchain ecosystem that focusing on the infrastructure, mm -hmm. right? So uh, Pondi X actually contribute a lot to Function X project and uh, our developer also participate uh, the development as well. So uh, what we do is that uh, we there are uh, the elements uh, like decentralized element, web three elements. We brought into uh, this device to for support. For example, uh, recently Function X has uh, introduced the co wallet card, which is PS card. So this is the gen Genesis version of the PS card, and uh, this card actually uh, in collaboration with Infineon, which is the, the leading chipset manufacturer in the world and to make sure that the, the cards itself store your data very securely. Mm -hmm. And the card itself is actually the private keys. So oh, wow. what you need to do is that you, as long as you have this card, you have your own private key. So, and okay. then you can also uh, transact through a POS device. You can actually use this card as your own wallet. You can tap on the uh, POS device to get cryptocurrency or spend cryptocurrency mm -hmm. um, using this uh, 
cold wallet card. So this cold wallet card is powered by Function X. Mm -hmm. And also we are developing our own blockchain network. And uh, we call, uh, sorry, we call uh, Pundi's chain. And it's actually uh, based on the Function X uh, ecosystem, um, the framework structure. So what we will do is that uh, the coins that available on Pundi's chain, that will be able to transfer to FX Core mm. and also uh, available on Pundi's blockchain as well. Mm -hmm. So Pundi's blockchain uh, using this framework also to practice the uh, governance. So whenever we have uh, anything that uh, people would like to suggest uh, what can we do for Pundi's project, they can use their Pundi's token to uh, place a vote. Mm -hmm. So they can vote yes or no. Mm -hmm. And this is also the structure from the Function X Network as well. Oh, well, so. that's great. Well, I'm very interested in the PX card, but I also noticed that is, I believe it's out of stock, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, well, uh, actually, Function X uh, issued about uh, 500 cards yeah. uh, as a first Genesis version of the card. We do have some with the distributor in South Africa and Turkey, and maybe some in Japan. Uh, they still have a little bit stuff. Oh. If you would like to get the cards, and then you can either go to uh, Amazon in Japan or to ask the uh, our Turkey distributor or um, distributor in South Africa to get some. I'm very excited to try out this PX card myself. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna do a tutorial if you guys are interested in checking it out. Mm -hmm. Well, more questions I want to ask is about uh, where do you see uh, Function X or Panty X in the next five to ten years? There are a lot of uh, great projects that uh, build on Function X network because it's the, the Function X. Um, blockchain has been built as a very scalable uh, mm -hmm. blockchain network and infrastructure for, for the project. So you see uh, projects like um, decentralized exchange like Margin X, uh, they uh, develop upon uh, Function X uh, network. And also, Function X has uh, FX swap. So mm -hmm. you can actually provide a liquidity, uh, also swap uh, coins through FX swap. So if you have Pundi's tokens, if you have Pers token, if you have um, Function S token, you can um, provide your liquidity and uh, to farm the uh, to farm the rewards from it. And on the other hand, you can swap, uh, give you a lot of uh, flexibility of the liquidity. And uh, of course, like Pundi's is a payment side uh, for Function X, so we're focusing on how to develop more open uh, ecosystem for the payment mm -hmm. players. So uh, for the traditional player, they would like to get involved with the uh, uh, decentralized finance, decentralized mm -hmm. payment, and then they can think about us. They can, because uh, we have the whole infrastructure has been built up for them. So uh, this is how we would like to envision the future, yes. Yeah, I'm loving the whole ecosystem because you guys aren't, aren't just focused on payment. You have Function X as a blockchain. Obviously, you're trying to build the, the own Pundi X chain and we also have the Margin X as the, the perpetual trade as well. What is even more exciting is about your, your office. You have a really yeah. cool office. Thank well, you. it's really spacious. You've got a, a gym in the office. Yes. I think mean, uh, yeah. you, you got me very jealous. Uh -huh. I'm just wondering, like you as the Chief Ecosystem Officer mm -hmm. of Pundi X, what is your daily routine like in this this amazing office? Right. Um, so for this office, it has been built. Uh, I think it's about two years ago. It's very very new, and. Uh, the best thing about this office is that uh, it's not only sit located in the uh, software part area in Taipei, but also it's very close to the delicious food and also the sports center. Actually, the, the community sports center is just next to this building. Oh, wow. And inside this building, it has a gym as well. So uh, when we look at this area, we think that, oh, this is... Uh, a work-life balance. <laughs> yeah, I think this is really good for the staff to work here. They can choose uh, either work remotely when they would like to, you know, come off for work. Yeah. And then they can feel uh, like at home, like they can choose whatever seats they want to sit. 
and and then they can utilize all the facility inside the office. So we can show you later. Um, yeah, of course. Of, uh, each area so that uh, you can see the flexibility. I think this is more like a, a, a post COVID concept of office that mm. you you have your own space, but. Uh, but also you have the flexibility to choose what you would like to seat. So they, uh, most of the spaces are open office, so you can choose whatever you want to seat. If I get this office, I don't think I'll be staying at home. I don't think I'll be working remotely. I'll for sure stay in the office every single day. Yeah. So I had so much fun talking to you. I learned so much more about Pundi Eggs and the export center. Eggs got very excited to try that. Uh, myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously all the links could be found in the description box below. Once again, thanks Paco for coming to this channel and thanks for... Thank you for coming here. Yeah, thanks for inviting from, me. From Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah <laughs> great. You guys make sure check out Pandi X.